<laughs> so Brad, I was here scanning out your table and oftentimes you have things that I haven't seen before, <laughs> that I haven't seen before, and I want you to tell me a little about it because I know that these are really important in the culinary world. Okay, um, the guy that actually runs the food vendor over here, uh, Ray, always gives me knives to sharpen. So, um, we got this one here, really thin, all right, and I've been working on it a little bit. Unfortunately, he lets it get a little bit dull before I sharpen it, usually like a month in between shows. So, I've been working on it a little bit, and with this one, I actually like the little round, uh, the poker chip. And I lay it down as flat as I can get it because it's really almost like a scandy grind. So then I'll just go along like this, go right on down like that. I can turn it over, come back, go out like this, like that. And then I just flip it over like this, do the same thing on the other side, which is the same thing that I do with my hatchet. So it's just like that. And then flip it back over and then touch it super light Take that little burr off the blade, and let's see if we're about there. Okay, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. Um, can you make them sharper? Yes, but I actually don't want my knife sharper. Uh, wow, that one's got some flat spots on it. Okay, it's not bad, but it does have some... And these are like ham cutting knives, turkey. Yeah, ham and turkey and stuff like briskets. that. Briskets. Yeah. Making you hungry on out. So just like this, come right on out. Back this way. I'm not even lifting it up. I'm just sliding it forth and back on there. Just like that. Come out here. Turn it over, do the same thing. And it's a really thin blade <clears throat> with a light bevel on it. So we do that. Then we do this. Like that, and yes, every now and then Brad does get cut. Uh, 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 get yourself again? Uh, this morning. Oh, <clears throat> I had sharpened this uh, broadhead. Wow. Then I put it down on the table. Then I forgot that I put it on the table. I turned my hands over, and I actually put my hand down right on the razor blade, and it got me from there over to here. So yes, it's sharp. Let's see what we got now on this one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that is smooth. You guys having fun yet? That's plenty sharp. <laughs> so lay that one down over there. Have you tried to get this one? Okay, this one is, I got <laughs> yeah. I was gonna look to see if I got the cutting edge. Okay, you gotta help it. That is not sharp. If you have to coax it, it's not sharp, okay? So we'll do this. Looks like this on your side. The corner of the sharpener on the cutting edge of the blade on a really long angle. That's only like a two or three degree bevel. So we just do this. So how do I keep it at two or three degrees? You're gonna notice the plastic is actually on the knife. Okay, so we do this, do that. Come right on out, like that. Turn it over, do the same thing. I can actually feel it cutting the blade and it's stainless. Probably a little bit hard steel. Oh, that. Then we do this. So much simpler than a whetstone or any other method of sharpening. So let's see what we got now. <laughs> Let's make it just a little better because it's not quite like this one. We're actually not doing that. So, so How about you? Uh, hey, Klondike Mike. What? Hey, look, it's Klondike Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's my nickname. Yeah, Klondike Mike. You know why? Because he has gold mines in Alaska. Wow. Just like that, that his son runs. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I need to 
Uh, you made me look with Klondike Mike and you switched it. That's neat, Brad. Neat you trick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay, here's the other one. So, so you're in the retail. That is smooth. That's I right. probably ought to work on the other one a little bit more. Sweet. Anyway, this is Brad Sharpens Best.com. We'll see you later, okay? Take care.